Now I'm going to show you how to enter a central limit z-score, which is basically a z-score of data value minus the mean over the standard deviation, but the standard deviation is based on a sample size, so it's a little bit more complicated. The problem I'm going to be solving I took from my video titled 6.4 Part 5, Solving Group Probability Between, because this probability problem was actually between two different values, 25 being one of them. Specifically, it's problem 2b, which is at timestamp 4 minutes and 40 seconds into the video. So over here on the left in the darker colored pen, I have written out the problem exactly the way you see it in the video. Although I decided I think it's better to focus on the problem the way I've written it in green off to the right. We need to think of the numerator as a grouped value and the denominator as a grouped value. Additionally, students often mess up dividing the 6 by the square root of 10 and accidentally multiply. So we think the vertical format on the right side is a little bit better than that horizontal format on the left, which is seen in my video. I have written in purple the keystrokes that I'll be using on the calculator, and blue is the value specific to this problem. So first thing I need to do is turn my calculator on. I see my blinking cursor and I'm ready to start with the parenthesis located right above the eight button. So parenthesis 25 minus 28, right parenthesis off to the right side, looks identical to my numerator, divide, and now I start another parenthesis to indicate the denominator has begun, six divided by, and I want the square root of 10, but you'll notice the square root is in light green above the x squared button. So don't forget I have to hit second and then x squared to actually get the square root option, which you can see on the screen. 10, and it seems like I should hit an end parenthesis to close out the square root and potentially another end parenthesis to close out the denominator, but we're pretty lucky on this calculator we can just go ahead and hit enter to get the number as seen in the video.